Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times.
Morning, Mr. Yu. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Huh. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's a nice view on the bay there. Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. <laughs> Morgan, finally. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Dr. Yu. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? 
Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Good. Next. Almost done. Interesting. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is this my coffee? It's empty. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032.
time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Thank you. 
Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it.
다 No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further.
Phantasmus. Keep moving. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. You. Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't... Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming.
Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. for your first real view of the world?
Asian leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to message workers immediately and await further instructions. In 1963, a top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos-1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body.
Getting around is going to be a problem. The main lift is broken. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround.
target, no alien material detected.
Engineer.
Scanning target. No type of material detected. to your office is 0451. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck.
Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging. Met. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not 
Restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting? Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority... A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. Requesting new operator. Transtar, Hello, are you for an appointment? 490 medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. System alert. Please contact a qualified engineer. System alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Welcome. Maybe I can help you.
to the labs is locked. You could look for the key card, but there are probably other ways in. And you've always been good at improvising. I'm curious what you'll do. I think I know, but we'll see. Station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop.
Jorstein? Where are you? Machine shop. I was just... I... I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromods. Exotic material. Just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. Integrity damaged. Unit is 
Operator approach. Inspecting. Your suit's leaving. I'll manage that door. disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver.
coming through.
think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate.
Microgravity detected. Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I, not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. I, uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is its garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, 
Ach, I'm sending it to you anyway. until you disengage the manual seal on the inside. Probably for the best. You won't know what you're getting into until it's too late. Nice work, Morgan. 
The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. It's running? Light-filled capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld? D did you take it? No. Ah, yesterday we had two, now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense! I guess you forgot. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. Ah, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No. I, uh, I suppose it's, it's late after all. Uh, go, go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. Get on, Piscatole.
going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it.
My clothing is December. My purpose is to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory shot full of holes, but you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with a supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll contact you again when you've got the key. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in... Uh, ...to <laughs> accessing a system. Please send a help alert to security. Electronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station.
Psychoscope required beyond this point. Psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Scan complete. More specimens required. Microscope required beyond this point.
All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate the cytoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten.
Calvino! What did you do to my conference room? Eh? What? Oh, 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 y yes. I was uh, just about to call you. All I see is a dot. Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Uh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino. I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. Hans, we need to talk about Annalise Gallegos. One started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Pardon me.
In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you managed to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino. He has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this.
More specimens required. Hello, Dr. Hughes. Dr. Hughes. Hello, are you here for Scanning. an appointment? Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level.
Hey, over here. Find anything good in that armory? Well, I was gonna give you the code, but I guess you don't need it. Still, I sure would appreciate being let out of here. M my name. What are you reading? My rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine, listen. I want to be honest, some of it probably is true. I done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? Y'all really shit and fell backwards in it, huh? What's that thing doing in there, huh? I know what it's like to cross that line. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. You're the one person who showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Listen, you run into any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I met it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids bunched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh-huh. I understand. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. I was afraid of this. The 
the scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gun is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon. But this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Live exam ah. terminated. Lift People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. Do you know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature.
Predicator auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy. But they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien.
Research complete. hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake. I'll be fine. Operator approach. What's the matter? He's... he's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call security, I tried... Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so... I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him. Root. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm gonna find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. Shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one.
plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five, four, three, two, one. Shelter, plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a contact. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazan. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam? He's right. These things... Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact, all right? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can lock myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe. Then call.
You made it. Nice work. The entrance to deep storage is off the Arboretum. Your brother's office is up here as well. Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. He used to say that behind his back. But that would make you... What? Neptune? Pluto. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. Ja here, Chief. How can I help you? I need you to report... ...to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. Research. Stay away from it. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Hey, 
Hey! Hey, over here! Open this door! Please! There's something after me! Please! Morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. Everything go well? Eventually. Had to wait a while. Two assholes in the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah, just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for Hello. you after nice tomorrow's to see shift. You. Drop site. The lobby. Pardon me. Assuming it Diagnosing works. No of course it works. Three taps of the wrench, that'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. Trivia. You're or adorable don't. when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily.
No type of material detected. What is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes. If they have the right words. 
Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns... I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center.
You, I see you. Another puppet. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes, a little closer. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. Can't get me, can you? You run out of puppets, huh? Maybe you starve. When will you stop? Stop! Ah. Can't think with all the puppet bombs. How many bodies do you have, huh? Stupid beast! You think you can kill me with them? I got the container set up. Quentin. I know, but if we... I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, Why next to the there? utility tunnel. When I was head chef know. at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right?
serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> Yeah. 
Yes. See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to... Game or not? Signs critical. Officer Falls. Malia. Important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos, where she goes, how she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Okay. One Check in on you, Sky. Just a Naramad hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing... Since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. But don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday.
Hi, Daddy. Happy birthday. Hey, I made you a present, but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Um... What else? Oh, Ren peed in one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you. <laughs> Fellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood, the cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. Either head through the door. Well, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias, sorry, Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right. you are, run. There is no more food here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. The puppets! Bomb! The masters. The puppets are both. Not you before they kill you. When no more puppets, Maybe we saw. It's all dead. Now you join them. You. Come to kitchen window. Let me see you.
Why don't I want any sure what a bum fly after all this time? Shall I prepare? Hmm? Your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you. You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. Don't worry about power, flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. Mitchell, sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't... An override. Per se. But it was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an AB conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. Come to window. Show me. You found something? Huh. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. Go round. The side entrance. safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But, look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? No eggs behind your eyes. <laughs> no black swimming. Hmm. Others come. Track to act human. Get me to open the door.
time. We are now safe in here.
should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage, anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Welcome, everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 Neuromod mark. 8,000 Neuromods. Sharing skills, abilities, improving the quality of life. And you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear brother, Morgan. And the future. But what is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday, except Chief Show, who I'm told had a... Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. Calvino, colleague, won't notice anything wrong. I get it, memory. Work obsessed. Perfect medical record, no absences.
Bovine. Doctrine. Laconic. Speculation. in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. You're just... not yourself. Welcome to deep storage. If Talos I had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan. Or your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime.
Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality.
Star Pyramid. See you again, Zero Medic. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. Try to relax. Good as new. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk.
I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your army key. Normal gravity detected. I know you spoofed my voice to get in there, and now you're stuck. Some family. I'm gonna help you, but you have to do something for me. Someone posing as the cook killed Abby. Abigail Foy ran sanitation. You wouldn't know her, but she was... He's still here. He can't have gotten out. You wanna do one good thing. Just one. Find him. Kill him. Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open a data vault module. It's a redundant battery. Medicine from the station. That's your way out. Once you're in, look for a manual release. Morgan, if you get back inside, please fix this station. Not for science, not for the future. Do it for the crew. <gasps>
Microgravity detected. You're not what they say you are. Can you hear us? <laughs> Rejecting the new cell lines, fighting them off like an antivirus. are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be, try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you, one step at a time. I'm here if you need help. inside this container, but I have no way to dock with the station from in here.
past. I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterians. Oh, he's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. And transmitting the code to the crate I was in. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. Dr. Yu! Morgan! Up here! Officer Cool! If we can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through, get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Engineering. 
Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Morgan? I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire, it was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. If only I had reached the power supply in time. God, watching those things move makes me sick. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any of us. What is it doing? Oh my God, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one move. Like, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse? Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter.
Let you eat. Way figures he'd survive. Dumb luck, I suppose. If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. So you came all this way only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... My men told me power's been restored to the Fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you. Doctor. That means all we need is the turret fabricator plan. There's one in the safe in the security office, but the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. This is a reminder that all cargo Those things will eventually find a way in here if we don't take personnel. the fight to them. You are the first line of defense against unsanctioned materials entering Talos 1. Report shipping anomalies immediately. Hello. Don't know nice if Wiggy, to see you. Uh, Dr. Eagle must be a way to get some to toys online. Might have been safer in his crate. Good to hear it. Adjustment required. Dr. Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Good. So These long since I've PPM seen it. Pistols are mostly yes, for show. It feels they don't like do much the attackers. I'll take that as a compliment. The eradicator turrets. We have a chance.
adjustment required. Hello, nice. Nothing will get past me. Afraid. No, nothing that interferes with memory formation. How does it feel? Do you remember? The first time you said it was like you were outside yourself, like time itself had bent its knee, waiting for you to decide. You moved my chair without touching it. It gave me chills. The possibilities. You became something new that day, something higher. I knew then, as I believe now, that our mission is to lift up all humanity in the same way. Hey, are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Peg ready. Scanning target. No type of material detected. Officer Maddox ready. Diagnostic check. Verbose. IFF. EATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Baby. <laughs> Damn PPNs. These small magazines are for civilians. Now or never. Hey, 
open. <laughs> They just keep coming! What's next? I'm pumped! Didn't realize how much I'd missed combat. And how much I didn't. You know, if you ever wanted to work with my team when we get off this death trap, I'd... consider it. You'd have to report to me, though. And I'm not as friendly as it may seem. I just Morgan, you saved our asses. Now, you might want to get out there and see if you can save a few more. to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Sorry, Dr. Berger. The system shut down. Some kind of fail-safe trigger? We're working on it. That parcel is extremely sensitive. I need it in psychotronics right away. I have a crew investigating the point of failure on our side as we speak. ETA is probably a few hours. A few hours? Isn't there anything else you can do? No. But since you have some time, you could call Mr. Yu and ask him for permission to reboot the entire space station. That would fix the problem immediately. That would be ridiculous. Well, since being ridiculous is off the table, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to wait. Maybe I'll check into it myself. I've trained for microgravity. Knock yourself out.
Attention, incoming shipments from Earth have been temporarily delayed. Personnel are directed to clear up backlog deliveries until notified by a supervisor. Micah, not sure you got your transcribe. Morgan's making his way to you now. Warning you, and everyone, so you don't see them accidentally. Or, on purpose. Morka? Mikhaila? I didn't think to check your transcribe. <clears throat> Not sure how you got here. I thought you left because... Never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexis. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <clears throat> even if I could get my booster shot from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock door. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... We'll just get here, all right? Thank you. 
wanted to speak to me. Yes, I'd like to arrange a time to oversee installation of a special particle injector in the water treatment facility. Hang on. You want me to do what now? I've already confirmed the inlet and outlet fittings are to spec. And just what precisely is this thing supposed to inject into our water supply? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh-huh. Well, then, we have a problem, Tobias. Dr. Kelstrup has already seen and approved. I'm gonna need... Be a signature from Alex or Morgan or something like that. But so, until I see ink on a dotted line, you'll just have to keep showing your special injector to Dr. Kelstrup. Sounds strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay, especially considering, well, considering you intend to destroy the station. You gave them some hope, even if it's brief. Chief, talk to me. We've had enemy contact, but the enemy... They should have held position in the cargo bay. I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people... Can you get to the escape pods? Negative. The escape pods are malfunctioning. It's like they're locked in place. Only four of us made it to life support. Five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer... Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things... Chief, the main lift, it isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my god, Remmer. Remmer's here. Stay away. Teague. Stay away. Teague. Erica, respond. Logging self-diagnostic. List repair and maintenance protocols.
Jean, it's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something when I was checking the last O2 station. And all void mass. Roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. Oh, just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. Thank you. 
We're in escape pod 8 and 9. Everyone is secured, but the launch controls aren't responding. Did you follow all the steps on the launch card exactly? Yeah, the klaxon even sounded, but the hatch won't close. We can't separate. Hang on. I'm looking at the schematics. There should be a remote sensor on the explosive bolts. Alika, please, hurry! I see all the leads, but... Wait! This can't be right. Can you launch us from there? Can you at least close the goddamn hatch? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is there a manual crank of some sort? Remmer. Remmer, do you copy? For a shift again. He's not answering his transcribe. I even asked Abigail to check his cabin before she came in. HR is going to ship his ass home for sure this time. He was already on thin ice. Thought he was doing good. With the Naltrex on? Seeing Dr. Cole? I'll call security and have them track him down. Hopefully, he's okay. This escape pod is currently experiencing a malfunction. Engineering has been notified. Please use another.
I know you did not come down here much, but <clears throat> I can track you through your bracelet and guide you from here. Check complete. More specimens required. You were looking for me? Yeah, uh, what's the story on Michaela's office? I filed an incident report. Oh, well, I'm sure it's a page turner, but I don't have time. I need to get a crew on the other side of that breach. So what's the problem? Problem is, it's blacker than my butthole at the bottom of a well in there. The grounding resistor malfunctioned. Swap a new one and you should have your lights. Is that all? Hey, you sound rattled. What's up? I tried replacing the resistor yesterday. And? And it just... Melted into some kind of goo. Smelled like fried ass. Shit, man. That's not in the report, is it? <sighs> I need to get some sleep. My shift's over anyway. Maybe you'll have better luck.
tells me. That's right, you'll be locked out. Okay, Morgan, you'll need a supervisor keycard. Talia Brooks, <laughs> in the coolant room. She didn't make it, but she'll probably have her card on her. manner a few weeks ago. Yeah? Was it an ass-kissing bird named Krasikov? Maybe. Care to elaborate? Not if I'm going to get my pee-pee slapped. Worse. I'll dunk you in the eel tank. Ouch. Nah, supply was out of parts, so I borrowed a glue gun from the guys in hardware. Worked out okay. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare parts to do the job right. Roger that, boss. Боже мой, Морген. I thought I was going to die. <coughs> well, sooner than I thought I was going to die. Where did that thing come from? Was it... Tony? The way it was looking at me. I'd get up, <laughs> except for my legs. And my lungs, and my nervous system. Don't look surprised. Paraplexus, remember? You warned me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. But the lifts... I was serious before. I think we can bypass the lockdown. The reactor control room. <clears throat> There's a panel for shutting down everything. The whole station. The computer will scream at you, but just do it. Then pray it all comes back when you cycle the power. It should. It will. Now, go. <laughs> oh. I thought you had been transferred off the station, or you System left. Where did you even come from? I thought you were airside.
System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact your qualified engineer. You don't remember her, but she remembers you. She hid her condition to work aboard Talos 1. When you found out, she should have been sent back to Earth. But you made an exception. I'm not sure if that makes you responsible now. She won't last long without her medication. It's up to you if you want to help her.
shutdown sequence. Substation power grid offline. Photovoltaic rings offline. Life support offline. Magnetosphere offline. Offline. Main reactor full shutdown. In 3, 2, 1. Reactor successfully shut down. Initiating main reactor ignition sequence in 3, 2, 1. Interrupted. Routing auxiliary power. Hona, we idiot was supposed to check those diverters a week ago. All right, Morgan, you're going to have to fix it yourself. Or find a replacement if we're that lucky. Reactor diverters on the freight lift as requested. I asked Connolly to send them down when convenient. Power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Well, I see. You reset everything. Talos One is wide open now. Clever. Reckless, but clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. I'm not gonna get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Come up to my office. Morgan, was that you? Whatever you did, I felt it in my gut. If this is some kind of payback... Power's coming back online. And that means the main lift too. I hope.
please stand clear of our entrance. Specimens required. Careful, Nick. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. The turbines are hydrogen cool. Now they're leaking. You take a shot and it's your last. It'll be like shooting a grenade at your feet, or worse. Microgravity detected. Morgan, I found a satellite project dealing with remote psychotronic signaling. RPSS-X5. I think it could spoof a neural signature that matches yours. Plain English, you could use it to get that new Typhon off your back. Latest tech logs show the satellite was damaged, though. You'd have to find a replacement part.
Precision poisoning detected. See medical. God damn, didn't you? Oh, you make me so mad sometimes. You never listen to me. survivors. I... yes. It's... wait. Is that fabricator functioning? I might be able to make use of it, with your permission, Mo... Uh, January. You have authorization to work at the station, Dr. Igwe, and manufacture anything that will assist Morgan in containing the Typhon. I'll remain here in your office until you return, Morgan. I may be able to be of use. Again, Doctor Yu. Oh, God, Morgan, you surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, right at the neck, just System look for alert. the marks. <coughs> it was harder when I was doing it here. myself. <laughs> Oh god, I can breathe again, and feel my legs. I still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Morgan. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. I'll have you. Feeling better soon. All done. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. I wondered how you would react to finding Michaela. You risk your life to help her. It makes me think the Neuromod extraction Mr. didn't erase Repair everything. Not completely. Perhaps engineer. particularly strong memories still leave faint Hello. impressions. Again, Intuitive Dr. feelings. You. Or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to... I don't mean to be insensitive. But when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos One, she might react strongly given that there's no way off the station. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Oh, God, Morgan, I... you surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, right at the neck, System alert. just Repair look for the marks. <coughs> it was engineer. harder when I was doing it myself. <gasps> Oh god, I can breathe again, and feel my legs. I still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Thanks, Morgan. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. I didn't see you there. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. Still, this will... 
Only take a moment. There. All better. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Hello, are you... I wondered how you would react to finding Michaela. You risked your life to help her. It makes me think the neuromod extraction alert. didn't Prepare erase everything. Please contact Not completely. A qualified Perhaps engineer. particularly strong memories still leave faint impressions. Intuitive feelings. Or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to... I don't mean to be insensitive. But when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos One, she might react strongly given that there's no way off the station. Microgravity detected. Morgan. I guess I see where all that trans star money goes. Chief Ilyushin? You're alive! Igre? You made it? Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell? Morgan, is that... No, no, that is... I am January. Morgan Yu's personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. So, it's the three of us. Four of us. Anyone else from the labs or psychotronics? Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Chief Ilyushin, please do not- Morgan, come up here when you get a chance.
requesting new operator. Transtar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Operator. Hello, good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Hello, nice to see you.
coming through. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies. Hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. and organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Probably didn't see me there.
frozen light. The Typhon wave it out of thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times.
I'm sending you the code to my graph shaft. Assuming it still works. Approaching the crew facilities? So, please. What the others used to laugh at. Each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data, connectomes, the guests who came to the station. Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is. is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. I'm sending you an audio file that will open this safe in my room. You can play it with your transcribe.
complete. New psionic aptitude available. was key to the first concerto Leitner played. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod, but only in my head. You used a guest neuromod? I copied their neuroscans and hid the data on my transcribe. Fabricated my own mods. I'm not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did. <laughs>
Good afternoon, Talos. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2 p.m. Please refer to the weekly upgrade for today's menu.
tell me again how the decompression happened. It was very sudden. I don't know the specifics, but I... Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. I found the right materials for the glue gun as well. Was able to make several canisters. I also found some food on the way up. Left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien-proof. I checked them, no twitching. To be sure, I let Igwe sample them first. Pardon me? I'm joking, Igwe. I wouldn't willingly expose you to aliens. Or anyone else. That would be... inhuman. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh-and-blood oh. person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Morgan, the coral is spreading to other parts of the station. I doubt the Typhon are just going to keep building it indefinitely. It must have some end purpose. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you. To recover the connectomes for me? I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. Why Russia? Why Russian volunteers? Well, the Russian penal system is quite unforgiving, and their alliance with the Transtar interest economically coincided. It was Catherine whose idea. Their mother and Alex saw the advantages. So... They were murdered because of political convenience and cost savings? The term murder I would dispute, but I do not wish to lie to you. These two factors made them good candidates for the research development here. It is far easier to persuade a man to volunteer for experimental trials when his other prospects include capital punishment or life in prison. I would dispute the term volunteer, Doctor. The security station in the lobby might have weapons. I never told you why I altered my medical records. Morgan? I know you were so sure when you were lecturing me, Morgan, saying I was selfish and... My father, he was imprisoned for questioning the Soviet intervention in India. Many prisoners are lost in Siberian labor camps, but my father vanished. The only thing I knew for certain was Tronstar was recruiting volunteers from those labor camps. I came here because of you and Alex and your experiments. To find him. And now I know he was here. I noticed on your computer. You found a set of names and ID numbers from Psychotronics, from Dr. Gallegos. The Russian volunteers were never referenced by name, but I was able to match an ID to my father. We can pull up his records. Archived experiment logs. I've already asked a great deal of you, but if you could find that archive in deep storage, I'll finally know what happened to my father. His name was Yuri Andronov. V0106-5532. Morgan. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Morgan? Normally, the tests are only a few days long. Any luck finding a way up the station?
afternoon, Talos. Gravity detected.
Morgan, this is Igwe. I stepped out for a moment. Miss Ilyushin's father, Andronov, the cosmonaut, he was here. I know he was. I'm sure there are logs, records in deep storage, but Morgan, you know what happened to him already. You've simply forgotten what you did. Miss Ilyushin, she may not understand. Do what you must. But if the records are gone, or happen to be destroyed due to the station damage, it would be for the best. Initiating test procedure 29, variant C, subject V-01065-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. <sighs> Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Ah, 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 mm -hmm. ah, 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 Typhon Cacoplasma ah, specimen is in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Ah, 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 subject, uh, subject vital signs are gone. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah, data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. Downloading now. Morgan, thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot... I cannot believe it. I'll wait for you to come back before I listen to it. Be careful, Morgan.
Microgravity detected. Hi, Morgan. I'm feeling much better. Legs are fine. <clears throat> Vision's clear. Those boosters did the trick. I can't believe you were able to find it. After all this time. Morgan. I've always felt that consciousness is more like... Music. Initiating test procedure 29. Variant C, subject V-01-0655-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. 
I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Mm -hmm. The typhoon cacoplasma ah, specimen is ah, in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Ah, 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 subject, uh... He's subject still. vital signs are gone. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. Your office is relatively secure. Come back if you... <clears throat> Chief Uliushin, this is a complicated matter. Shut up. You? Perform the procedure? The what? Killed him? And you knew? Why? You didn't know. You don't even know what you've done! Chief Ilyushin, Morgan has no memory of the log you've listened to. Go to hell, January. You speak with his voice, you might as well be his conscience. Lack of conscience. And to think, Morgan... I thought you were trying to help me. Why would you save me to do... this? To buy back some guilt? So I'd forgive you? My father is right. You don't understand. Your father, mother, your stupid, deluded brother. You will never understand family. You don't even understand what it means to be human. Get the hell away from me. <clears throat> I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans. I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind if I use your fabricator. I'd like to help. I've been trying to see what I can access from here. But most of the systems are locked down. You designed me to assist you. I have more instructions, but I can't access them until you've recovered both arming keys. Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon have been Accumulating. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I'd see it. It was an established process. 
Igwe, but... He knew what was in Psychotronics. What was going on in Psychotronics. Well... There's no trick, just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. Took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer, another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password, assuming you haven't hacked your way in. My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talus One research facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. <laughs> because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. I feel more like myself than ever. I mean... Look at this. We did it, Alex. 
It's real. Enjoy it while you can, because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone when we strip out the neuromods and we set. I know, including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. And my gut tells me it's a kind of neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down if it ever broke containment. <laughs> Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. He doesn't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. <laughs> what else are we going to do? Blow everything up? That won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my brother back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned, it's an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the Carl. I'll send you the scan locations. I'm still checking it against my directives, but if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time. Microgravity detected. I've been thinking about the video Alex showed you. Your brother believes that version of you is the true Morgan. But why? Just because it came first. If someone had made you, then I suppose your truest self would be the one that fulfills whatever purpose your maker intended. I know who made me. And why? Did someone make you, Morgan? Were you made for something? If not, you'll have to invent your own purpose, or have none at all. 
Strangely, of all the things I know about you, I don't know what you believe. You have to decide, Morgan. Who are you?
something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. Hurry. Search complete. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but... Wait. What is... There's some kind of neural trip wire built into the coral. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. Here's my terminal to upload the data. I'll get it integrated into the fabrication plan for the new null wave device as fast as possible. And be careful. The Typhoon will begin to sense our intent to harm the Coral. They're gonna come after you. I left something for you on my desk that should help. has authorized me to take full command of Talos-1, effective immediately. All employees must now report to the shuttle bay for evacuation. Those of you unable to comply, transmit an SOS and my team of rescue operators will locate you. One last thing. Alex and Morgan Yu have been relieved of their positions. Do not consent to their requests or assist them in any way. Dial out. Regardless, we're not getting this coral data through until we do something about it. I don't like it, but you're gonna have to get into his command shuttle. See if you can locate his access point and cut him off. Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities, only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. <laughs> 
Anything except the secrets aboard this station. You owe liabilities to the company now. Dahl, I'm sure you can hear me. I don't know what my... what the board told you, but you're out of your depth on this one. Call off your operators, or at least help us hold back the Typhon. Well, on the verge nice of the... Your brother, he likes a microphone. A spotlight. He can't resist. Even though he's hiding. And you are running around like a nervous rat. I hear you. Chewing the wires and shitting in the walls. Are you trying to fix the mess you've made? Or just get away? I pride myself in being prepared for the worst. Hello, but this, are you here for an appointment? This is truly a masterpiece. You should be proud. Alex! Damn it! Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2 p.m. We refer to the weekly upgrade for today's menu.
Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay. Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A. C. B. A. C. Good luck. Hello, Morgan? are you here for an appointment? Hello, are you here for an appointment? Hello, good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Uh, Morgan, I've been thinking about what you've done, what you're doing. We all must act according to our nature, no matter what the psychologists Welcome. and priests Maybe say I can help you. in your nature. I think I was right before. You are like a rat, resourceful, sly, burdened with a kind of pestilence of the mind. 
This station was your laboratory, and the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. ones are not a secure means of storing your workstation password. Hi, Morgan. Morgan? I was worried Darlow, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCN-9 black box operators. Not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dal, his arrival may help us. As long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal is a recipient of several neuromods. A standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. You see, Dull's mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking on some matters. If we remove them, he may forget his mission here. Yet we would still have access to the shuttle and a way home, provided his piloting knowledge remains intact. It's a risk, but worth taking, I think. He'll have to be subdued, of course. I'm afraid that task falls to you. There is no one else alive on the station who can pilot the shuttle. It's worth a try. And there's been enough killing. Hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need and don't be shy about using 
I don't think they were. Morgan. Morgan. I know Alex. He always has a backup plan. He must. <clears throat> a deluxe cabin. Oh, Alex must have liked you. Doctor, you did. My quarters were right next to Dr. Calvino. Oh, I take it back. Maybe Alex did not like you. I hardly think slandering one of the doctors is productive at this time. Calvino is dead. And he was a skilled doctor. He deserves our respect. That's irony coming from you, after all the respect you showed Morgan in a sim lab. Dr. Yu, both of them, approved the experiment. Really? What about the third Dr. Yu, the one with us now? Not sure our Morgan approves. reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? Well, I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no, that's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know, I, I, I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this, all right? That Morgan is not me. I would never... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them? You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill! I want this station shut down! I want Earth! Morgan! I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. Mr. Yu, this is Eddie Voss. I work down in cargo. The fact is, we've been stealing from you, sir. It started small, just uh, moving harmless contraband on and off the station. Pharmas, food not on the safe list. I don't know, maybe you don't pay your tax and hardware enough, but uh, Lily got but ambitious after a while. Started stealing neuromods, fabrication plants, trans star rivals. Yeah, sit on that for a sec, Mr. Yu. 
Kazma's got our IP now. Lily made me modify some of the old alarm panels around Talos so uh, <clears throat> we could uh, use them as dead drops. I'm certain a few of them still have company property. Three taps of the wrench will pop it open. Anyway, I, I just wanted to... Hey, uh, <clears throat> I never meant for things to get out of hand. It just uh, took on a life of its own. But uh, I'd like to make it right any way I can. And that's all. This is Captain Hale, shuttle exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? I don't know why I can't reach anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. All right. Shit. Investigating cabin. I have a sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. System alert. Re 
contact a qualified engineer. System alert. Repairs needed. Can you get to us? No. We cut the power to the lifts to keep those damn things from getting up to the control room. Well, well we're, we're all stuck here anyway. We can't get these pods open. I don't understand. I'll keep spamming the security computers with help requests. Maybe someone will notice eventually. Yeah. Maybe. Doll. This is William Yu, acting chairman of the trans Star Board of Directors. I will need your credentials to authorize this mission. Of course. My authentication sign is Zeta Invictus Emperor Tangerine. Sign checks out. Good morning, Director Yu. Shuttle is hot and holding orbit, awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos-1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel. No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal site would be in the hardware labs. 
Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after... Check.
cops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transtar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Maybe you can save them, but you'll have to come out of the walls, Rath. Life support. The clock is ticking. Morgan, Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick, or this is the last time we'll be talking. Miss Elazar is right to be alarmed, though her assessment is mistaken. Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Microgravity detected. System alert. Repairs needed. Hello. Please Good contact to see you again, Dr. Engineer. Explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Warning. Dangerous level of explosive gas detected. Please evacuate and avoid all open flames or sparks until repairs can be made. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Tank integrity restored. 
Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 66%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 99.79%. Threat of explosive gas minimal. Normal operations may resume pending supervisor approval. Morgan, air's almost gone. Please. Kill that sociopathic wire in it. Morgan. Seems you've been here a while about your employees. Your father would be disappointed. Or maybe you just really want to kill me. This makes it very easy for me to do my job. Kill him.
Take him down! Time's up! <laughs> you run? Well, I misjudged you. Goodbye, Morgan! Morgan! You did it! I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromod. And hopefully, gaining his shuttle in the process. Dal Kent. Thank you. A little longer and... Never mind. Elazar out.
Doctor Yu, Doctor Igwe. We have the subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can.
Support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out.
Dr. Yu, Morgan, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject, doll, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disor- When extracted, Dal's memory should revert back to the inception date. And he should forget his assignment here. Dr. Yu, Morgan. What? Who are you, Morgan? Your father's been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dahl. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis. Here on the station. We need to evacuate at once. But we... We couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will blackbox me. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. We'll meet you there, Morgan. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. Requesting new operator. Transform pyramid 490 you. medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Lead the way, Morgan. We'll catch up.
Nice to see you. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. Try to relax. All done. Hello, are you here for an appointment? What's happening on Talos 1? Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time to us or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. 
but it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will. Soon.
a shallow copy of you, and I know better than to abandon Talos One. If you leave now, you're only delaying the inevitable. Where do you think the Typhon will go next? I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not mom and dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, like I pro- What? Morgan!
have left me to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this little war. Take care of the no wave device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Hello. You Good anticipated the kind of appeal Dr. Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null wave. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost. It's... Manuel is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earth's side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Well, here we are. Hopefully you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. Attention. I suspect you've seen enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the one who thought we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me that we could do anything we imagined. No matter how ridiculous. I hope you still believe that. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my brother succumb to pessimism. We have the data to confirm what you suspected. The coral is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching out to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I have a feeling you already know. I'm carrying a fabrication plan for the prototype null wave device you conceived. Make one, then place it at the heart of the coral. We will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Good luck, Morgan. I just regret. I won't be at your side to see it happen. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering.
device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Use your cytoscope to locate the exact spot. I can help you. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. This won't take long. Oh, God. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk.
hazardous atmosphere conditions. Dose of Morgan cell lights. Do it. That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers and now there's blood in the water?
diagnosing, bruising, abrasion, fatigue. Nothing like this. This won't take long. There. All better. Don't forget to complete. Microgravity detected. What's the update on our patient? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan. I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Talos, don't forget that Transstar... What the hell have you done? I simply acted on Morgan's orders. Nonsense. You're a machine. No conceived one. Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. But there is alien None of us has the right to endanger to every life on Earth. To move. If anyone's playing on it, it's you. Every window in this station. Every lunatic it's plan place. denies it's everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you will be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos-1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. for me, Cothran. Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. 
The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. I, I got an SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was gonna route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support? So call Chief Show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. You're his supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bays is blown wide open, and I've got multiple MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. What did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da, while perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Kayla. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. 
but it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Engram. Things did not end well for him, but... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dor's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times.
Microgravity detected. I'm aware that you primed the arming keys to destroy Talos-1, so I find the activation of this null wave transmitter station puzzling. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos-1 and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the null wave, you'll have to kill me. Reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed. Next and final topic. Your mind is free of significant Typhon neuromods. I believe the risk you pose to Earth is minimal. However, despite my belief, I cannot act against my directives. On the other hand, if I were to suffer irreparable system damage, I would be unable to interfere with your escape. Alternatively, you could depart with your colleagues aboard Dahl's shuttle. You didn't anticipate that outcome. I just wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Morgan. The shuttle is ready to go, Morgan. I'll wait a few minutes before detonation, but then, I'm gone. You're on your own after that. Microgravity detected.
Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos-1. again, Dr. Yu. Warning. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos-1. Please evacuate Talos-1. Detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. Aperture clear. Operating. You made it. Look, I know what happened. You aren't solely to blame. You helped me and my officers when we needed it. I'll be sure to let Earthside know what you did to help us in the cargo bay. Talos 1. Dr. Yu. Morgan. It was an honor to work with you on Talos. And your brother. And thank you for retrieving Lightner's remains. Maya always loved the sound of his playing. I couldn't let it die with the station. His was a rare gift, and his skill should be shared. Not only with me, but with others. Morning. Now come the fireworks. I hope there'll be enough. You know, I thought you had left the station because of what happened between us. And that I had lied to you about my condition. I was angry with you. And myself. But I'm glad you are here with me now. And I like who you have become. You have my father's strength. Vajamoy, please! I didn't come all seat. this way to die now. Put your ass in that seat. Please evacuate Talos 1. Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre flight check is who gives a shit. Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. 
I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da, while perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then... There was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him, but... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her, we can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do.